I'm supposed to. This is Stan. Mr. Yeah. Um, Your name is? Oh, I uh, Stan Strickland. Strickland. Yes. And you've been out here for a number of years? I've been out here for uh, almost one year now. And this is Bodecker Park, and Bo you've Decker been attached Park. to Youth with a Mission? Uh, working for, actually they support me. Uh, they're my, my um, prayer support and physical support while I'm here in the Tenderloin, about four hours a day. So I think what we want to talk about is what the uh, men's group at yes. uh, the Presbyterian Church in Pleasanton have been doing. They wanted to make a uh, kind of a direct contribution to people here in the Tenderloin. So my uh, good friend Fred Hempy has been the go-between guy and he's been giving me um, money. I'll just say that, I won't go into the details. Uh, but but several hundred dollars uh, over the last couple of months, and I take that money and go down to Mimi's and buy seven dollar gift certificates, and then hand those out on the streets to people, primarily people who would only normally eat in the feeding lines, Blythe or St. Anthony's, mm -hmm. and um, just do that to to It's a practical demonstration of God's love for them. And that's the only string that's attached, is that they understand that it's God's money. He's simply using me as the piece of delivery boy, and it's, it's he gets the glory. That's, that's it. And so I understand that what happens is that sometimes it's been a long time that uh, since they've been able to go into a restaurant and order what yes, they want yes, yes. instead of being fed what somebody else has it's, decided. It's a double blessing. The first blessing comes from just the gift alone, recognizing that God loves them and wants to give them a gift. The second blessing comes when they go to the restaurant, sit down at the table, someone comes to them, gives them a menu, and lets them make the order, place the order, order whatever they want. And that blessing is in the form of uh, honor and respect and dignity restored to their lives. It's a simple thing, but could, it is powerful. Could you say that again? It's honor and dignity and respect restored to their lives through this simple gift. That's it. It's amazing. Yeah, it is, it is, it amazing. is amazing. And God uh, continues to use that little ministry uh, to to affect or impact a, a lot of different people. Mm. Yesterday I gave one of those to a lady who was having a just a terrible day and it really blessed her and she cried when I gave it to her. I found her later on in the afternoon and she had lost the coupon and the wind had blown it into this park when it was closed and somebody else got it. But she went on to tell me that someone came up to her and had a gift coupon for Burger King, and she went down there and had a big juicy hamburger that she'd been thinking about. So, wow, God's gifts Two come miracles. with a replacement warranty. That's my story. <laughs> he gives precious? good gifts, and he gives a replacement warranty in case we lose it. That's my story. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you when I came up yes. to the lady and gave her the gift. She cried and she said she had just been thinking about a big juicy hamburger, but she could only afford to eat at the feeding lines. And so God knew what the desire of her heart was, a big juicy hamburger. She lost the certificate. Somebody else came up and gave her a Burger King certificate and she eventually had that big juicy hamburger she'd been dreaming about. Wow. Yeah, God loves to give good gifts to his children. That's not quite the feast of the lamb in heaven, but <laughs> it's the next I don't know. best I like a juicy hamburger thing, too. It's isn't the next it? best thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. So as they say, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Stan. You're welcome. It's my Thank pleasure. <laughs>